I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? How you going? My name's Els and I'm back with another video. Hello. I feel like I've not been sat in front of the camera for a hot diggity dang minute. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. However, I'm back. I've just been on holiday. I went to Spain, so I'm in quarantine for two weeks now. So I've got all the time in the world to make beautiful videos for you beautiful people. So my loves, today's video is going to be a Q&A. I haven't done a Q&A in a good few months, so I thought I would ask you guys the questions over on my Instagram to see the sorts of things you guys want me to answer questions about, and, and here I am answering them. If you want to be involved in any future Q&As, if you didn't see me asking, asking you guys for questions, my Instagram is just at elsgarrett if you guys want to follow me on there. I post about that on my story all the time, asking you what types of videos you want to see, polls, all types of stuff like that, or if you just want to keep up to date with the channel or what's happening with me in my life, my Instagram is your place to do that. I do also have Twitter. It's also at Els Garrett, so if you want to follow me on there too, go for it. However though, if you are new here and you've never seen me before and you like me and my face and my chan and you want to subscribe to my chan, my Jackie chan, then subscribe to my chan. I've made the goal to try and hit 15k by the end of the year, so if you want to help me try and reach that goal, subscribe to the chan. <laughs> So I'm gonna stop chatting absolute sheet. I'm gonna get on with the video. Question one, are you a barb? I don't know what that is. So I don't know particularly if I know what a barb is. So this might be my inner Karen coming out, not being down with the kids. However, I'm gonna search this word up on Urban Dictionary. So according to Urban Dictionary, this is what a barb is. This is uh, the definition of a barb. I thought it was another word for a Karen. Apparently I'm wrong. So I then can wholeheartedly put my hand on my heart and tell you that I am not in fact a barb. I don't not like Nicki Minaj for any particular reason. I'm just not a big fan of that type of music, along with like Cardi B and them, them bit of a clan in the music industry. Not a fan, personally. If you guys want to see my music taste, like, I honestly can't even describe it. Just check my Spotify out, which is Alan Agarra. See what see what music I'm cracking about with. However, I can assure you, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj are not, are not two of them, so yeah. Next question is, what is something that's on your bucket list? I can in fact tell you, it has been brought to my attention recently that there is a thing that exists called Peppa Pig Afternoon Tea. If any of you want to go with me, let's do it. It is about five hours away from me, so, you know, might need to get an aeroplane to that destination, but I'm up for it. <laughs> However, it is also on my bucket list to go to Canada for a snowboarding season. And if those of you know or might not know, I was planned to go to Canada in January for a snowboarding season I've been saving for for like two or three years now. But Little Miss Coronavirus has, you know, pulled a fast one on me and I'm not going anymore, which is sad, obviously. But there's nothing I can do about travel restrictions. So it's been postponed till 2022. I might still go this year. I don't know, but it would be on a shorter trip and it would just be because I have a real craving to go to Canada. But instead I might go for like two weeks. I don't know. I don't know. I might just go to Morzine in France, if you guys care, because that's a pretty good snowboarding spot. <sighs> They've got really good powder runs. I kind of need that right now. Bit of stress, bit of bit of snowboarding would be nice right now. It's been a hot minute <laughs> since I've been. But anyway, that means I have a whole year to make videos for you lot. So let's get this channel growing and popping. Next question is how is school? I've actually finished school. I just finished year 13. I'm 18, so I'm out of school now. Technically I can go to uni if I want to. That won't be for two years now. <laughs> Yeah, it might have been in a year's time if I was going to Canada this year, because I'm not going to Canada until next year now. I'm not gonna to go to uni until I'm 20. So if that's what I wanna do, I don't know like how I'm gonna be going. I don't know, I kinda of just wanna start working, do my own thing, to be honest. I feel like if I was just going to uni, it'd be for like the, the scene of friends and the scene of uni, but I'm not a big part yet. Personally, I just prefer to work and do my own thing and just like chill, you know? Next question is, what part of England are you from? So I get this question all the time. People are like, your voice sounds like this, your voice sounds like that. The amount of One Direction references on this channel, and I don't even know who One Direction, I know what One Direction is. I just don't know anything about them personally. I've had multiple people tell me that I sound and act like Louis Tomlinson. I had to search up who Louis Tomlinson was last night. I can hear it in the voice a little bit. However, I also, don't because he's from Manchester I think I don't particularly know and I'm not from Manchester I'm actually from the Lake District so there you go that's where I'm from so it's in the north of England uh pretty much 
And that is a very random place for someone to live in England because it's a tourist destination predominantly, like predominantly. You bump into someone on the street around here, they're gonna be a tourist, but I'm a local. So yeah, if any of you guys are from the lakes, let me know because I don't think anyone's from the lakes really on social media, so yeah. But yeah, I live here. I live in the tourist destination and it's pretty gosh darn dank if you ask me. So next question is actually from a fan account which is really sick that I have fan accounts now. Are you kidding me? However, Els Loves Pepper asked, uh, did you go through a Brandy Melville phase? I'd be sitting here online if I told you I didn't go through a Brandy Melville phase. Of course, I went through a Brandy Melville phase every, pretty much every teenage girl that was born, you know, between the vicinity of like 2000 to 2004, probably went through a Brandy Melville phase. I, in fact, was born in 2002, so yeah, I did go through a Brandy Melville phase. Some of the stuff in my wardrobe is still Brandy Melville, but I'm transitioning out of it, my darling. I, I am. I'm moving on with my life. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I used to love their designs for like the simplicity of it. Like, I always knew everything I ordered. I I would like because I like the quality of it and the style and everything. However, my style's changing. I'm not really caring as much of my style anymore, to be honest, you know? I just, I'm just telling you that I'm just not like other girls. So, yeah. <laughs> Next question, favorite shirt. Currently, I am watching season two of 13 Reasons Why. I watched season one a couple of years ago. I'm trying to catch up to season four because I've heard season four is, while very sad, very good. However, favorite shows in general on Netflix, SpongeBob, Rick and Morty. Two very good mood, putting in good mood TV shows. However, one I did watch recently, Love on the Spectrum. It's very good, very heartwarming, very happy, very, it's just a good laugh all around, you know? A good smile, yes. This next question I love, what made you decide to start a YouTube channel? It was just an overall creative outlet for me. I started a channel back in 2012, my old channel. I think I started this channel in 2016, but my last channel I started in 2012. It was a creative outlet for me because I liked making videos. The particular videos I made back then, I was making videos about my pets. So I had hamsters, rabbits, and dogs, lovely. And there was like a little pet community on YouTube. Girls like were similar to my age. And you know, I was just loving it, like making videos about my hamsters. I just loved pets. I, I, bit of beast, don't I? I mean, gosh, I don't know. That's such a bad joke. Do you just see? Do you just see where I'm? Do you see where I'm coming from? And I think because that was kind of an interest I took at like the age of 10, 11. In school, I didn't really relate to a lot of the kids. Not in like a really dramatic way where like I didn't get on with any of them because of those things. I just felt like I couldn't really like mesh well with like the kids in my school because that was what I wanted to do. And I think the weird thing to look back on is like even at a young age, like you know, 12, 13, I looked at it as like this is a positive thing, this is a happy thing, it's like a nice outlet for me to have. And it was a hobby it was never a job it's only just turned into like a kind of like a side hustle for me like as I moved house in March but even growing up like I always knew it was a hobby but I always knew there was like the room it could do well and it could turn into a career and it's definitely not a career now of course it's not I would be lying if I sat here and told you that I didn't hope that one day this channel could be something bigger and something where there's like a cool community where we all share the same humor and have inside jokes and just chill do you know what I mean so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, next question. Do you wanna get married? If you do, what will be your wedding song? I mean, bit of a deep question, but yeah. I mean, of course, of course I wanna get married. Like any other girl, most girls and guys wanna get married at some point. I mean, I've never had anyone more than a friend, <laughs> but all I can sit here and say is yes, of course. I would like to get married. And if I do get married, I would definitely like my wedding song to be something from the Step Brothers soundtrack. Hear me out, live performance, John C. Riley, Will Ferrell, Boats and hoes. I mean, I'm not wrong. When will there be an Els and Jackie Chan collab? Now, I have written him multiple letters and sent them in the post, and I have had no response. Briefly. I don't know when it's going to be, but next week. Yo, Els, what's popping? Yo, what's poppin' my broski? Have you seen the Reddit threads about you? I have indeed. There's been two Reddit threads about me. One good, one bad. Funny thing with Reddit, it's either really positive or a little bit of a stab in the back. So let's react to that. Let me get it up. So I don't have the positive Reddit thread anymore because I don't particularly know how to find it, but I've got the non-positive one and it's actually been taken down, but I have a link to it. So this thread was made about my low balling video. I've mentioned it a lot. It's done really well on my channel. Really fun video to do. It got a bit of backlash when I first posted it. 
the backlash has stopped now. The backlash was from a very small minority, like 98% of the people enjoyed the video, 2% did not. And the 2% that did not decided to make a Reddit thread. So let's just read some of these comments. Uh, it's not even interesting content. I could do it myself if I really wanted to waste people's time. <laughs> This is like going to a Gucci store, speaking to other sales associates for a while, getting a drink, picking out a bag, and then leaving because you don't have the money and you weren't actually interested. You waste the sales associates time and they don't make a commission. Brandy girls overprice those t-shirts so much, but let them do that, who cares? I agree with you on the who cares part, right? I totally agree with you, blonde Snape. Okay, however, I don't think Brandy Melville particularly compares to Gucci. You might say I'm wrong, because clearly you are here, but I don't think it's a very good comparison. She's so annoying on YouTube. She's only supposed to report on Brandy, but she took it too far. Making a joke about Austin and Ali, I took it too far. I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. <laughs> so with these like people responding that she's only supposed to post whatever she wants because it's her YouTube channel. She took it where it, she need, it needs to go, babe. <laughs> I think you're more mad than me. Big mad, because this whole post is pathetic. <laughs> Now she can go buy three rare brandy tops. Actually, I think I could buy more than three because they're all on the website now. Stefan Marsan heard us, guys. He heard us and he knew that he needed to nip this in the bud and sort it out. Stefan Marsan, the Brandy Marvel man, has also taken all his videos off YouTube. So I don't know if the CEO of Brandy Marvel's watched my video. I don't know. I don't know. It's a harmless joke. No lie, I think it's funny as frick. So that was a Reddit thread about me. That's pretty much it. So yeah my loves. I really, really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching if you've watched this point. If you guys want to do more Q&As, you know, like this video, let me know. I like filming them. They're interesting. You guys can know more about me. I could talk about this channel, all types of stuff like that. So yeah, I will hopefully, if I'm lucky enough, catch you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Sayonara. Catch you in a bit. Catch on the flip side. See you later, homie.